I'm Jenna. And I'm Ian. And we're gearheads here at Backcountry. And today we're going to be talking to you about some of our top backpacking meals. Yeah, so these are some of the best sellers that we have on the site. Uh, we're going to give them a taste to let you know what we think. We're going to be ranking them in terms of taste, texture, and the nutritional value that they have. And for all backpacking questions, you can refer to our backpacking guide here. We will have chapter timestamps so you can feel free to scrub through. And before we get into it, we're going to be using a jet boil because Chances are, if you are backpacking, you're going to be carrying one of these bad boys. And they have the little markers inside so you can see how much water you're putting in. A helpful gearhead tip is, while these all tell you exactly how much water they require, sometimes it's best to add that water incrementally and the meal comes out a little bit better. So, you, know, you can dial it in to exactly how you like it. We are going to fill this with water and get to cooking and we'll be back in just a minute. Don't forget to remove this. All right, so our first meal is done, and we're going to be having the Backpackers Pantry Pesto Pasta with Chicken. What's in this thing? We've got 580 calories, 38 grams of protein, so you're going to get yoked. Also, one thing to note about this one, unlike the others, we added the water, and then you let it like sit for about eight minutes, and then you had to stir it in between, and then let it sit for another seven, whereas the other ones, we could just pour the water in and just let them sit the whole time. Should we crack it open? Some hints on the nose are pesto pasta with chicken. Is it hot? Not too bad, a little bit. I taste chicken. The pesto's not too strong. No, it's not, definitely not an overwhelming pesto taste. It's like essence of pesto. I gotta try another one. Yeah, yeah, I can't make a final judgment yet. Okay, our noodles are definitely not quite cooked all the way. I just got a crunchy one. A little bit al dente. I don't know, what would you say? Scale of one to 10 between taste, texture, and knowing the nutrition value. Texture's spot on, super easy to eat. I don't know if the texture's spot on for me. I, I just find this goes down really easy. Like, you know, if I'm out exhausted and just wanting to fuel myself and go to bed, I think that this would go down the gullet nice and quick, wouldn't have me thinking about anything. You know, the pasta could be a little bit better, but just goes down easy, which is something I'd be looking for in the backcountry. I'm thinking about all of like the little basil and pesto bits right now that are just scattered throughout my teeth. And if I wanted to go to bed right after, I would just be picking at all of these in my teeth. So I'm, I'm gonna give this a six, Fair six enough. out of 10. I'm gonna give this a 7.5. Okay. So next, we've got the Mountain House, which I'm sure everybody is familiar with. Beef stroganoff with noodles. This one is gonna have about 750 calories per bag and protein, we're always looking at the protein. This one's got 33 grams per bag, which is a little bit less than the last one, so for everyone trying to get bulked up out there, this one's gonna have a touch less. But the amount of water that we needed to add was two and one third cups. So from a user standpoint, we really struggled with figuring that one out. Um, so we would recommend the ones that definitely are sticking to the two cups, three cups, keeping it simple. As soon as we had to break it down, we were, we were lost. All bets were off. But let's see how it turned out. Yeah. <laughs> so I, th I think I've, <laughs> I've seen this texture before somewhere. It looks... A little wet dog foodish. <laughs> <laughs> looks like that. Oh, maybe we should stir yeah, it. Let's get a little... You never judge a book by its cover. Or its texture. Or, or its texture. That, that looks is better. all you first. That get looks... on in there. Oh, after the stir, this thing looks... The stir helps. Incredibly the stir appetizing. really helps. Let's see here. It's right, creamy. So here's, here's what we're looking at. Definitely creamy. A little bit watery. Don't know if we... Maybe we messed up that I, conversion. But... I think that's how stroganoff is supposed to be. But I don't know. Not bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the temperature or the taste? Out of my mouth, oh my God. Well, there goes my tongue. I kind of like it. I think it could use a little bit of pepper. So, you know, maybe that's something you might want to keep in your kit. Sprinkle a little bit of pepper on there. Texture, again, I'm gonna say, this thing does go down pretty easy. Texture's really good. It's kind of creamy, nice. I like the sauce. The meat definitely didn't cook quite how I'd want it to. It tastes like freeze dried meat. But the flavor of this is really good. Yeah. Okay, scale of one to 10. Taste-wise, I mean, I'm gonna give this a nine. Nine and a half, actually. I'm gonna dock off half a point because it didn't beat our first bag in terms of protein. And you know, that's really important to me. Protein aside, I'm gonna give this a nine. Yeah, I'll, I'll settle on a nine. Overall nine. Pretty good. Pretty good. I, burnt... <laughs> They're good, but it's not that good. It's somehow getting hotter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> 
right, so next up we have the good to go kale and white bean stew. This company is pretty cool. They have a lot of gluten-free options and a lot of vegan options. So if you have any dietary restrictions out there in the woods, this one's gonna be perfect for you. Got you covered. What do we have for nutrition? So nutrition in this bag, there are 720 calories. 32 grams of protein, so a little bit less than what we've been seeing. This one took the most water of all of them that we're trying. This one took about three cups, so definitely a thing to consider if you're out there and you have to carry your water in. Not a great one for desert backpacking. No. So we're gonna be really careful because this is gonna be hot. I'm ready for it. A lot of these meals are a little bit watery just because they're freeze dried, so a spork is a very useful tool to have on hand. It tastes like veggies. Tastes like kale and white bean. <laughs> it tastes like green. If we come at this a little bit more objectively and we think about our vegan and vegetarian audiences, this is gonna get you some protein, it's gonna taste like the veggies you love, and it's probably gonna fill you up because yeah. of the beans. Wouldn't be my first choice. Then again, I'm not vegan, so I guess I can't really talk or speak to that. It doesn't taste bad though. I mean, it's, it, there's no unusual textures or anything that I'd say. Like, there's not anything not appetizing about it. I would think if you made this at home, it would taste pretty much the same. I'd probably give this a, f a six. I'm gonna give this a six because I think for what it is, it's a really good meal. I think it's just not my personal preference of meal. I'm gonna agree with that. We're not talking about me here. We're talking about... You. You. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, kind of like the first one, there's a lot of little greens and bits and I can feel it all in my teeth and I'm just thinking about if I was to go to bed and just spend the first 20 minutes trying to get little bits of kale out of my teeth, that would be kind of inconvenient. Let's go to the next one. Let's yeah, try something yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so next up, we've got the Peak Refuel Chicken Pesto Pasta. This one, interestingly, took the least amount of water. It only took two thirds cup of water, which is a very small amount, really convenient. But at the same time, I still stand by the doing fractions is complicated. We struggled with this one, even though it was so little. This one packs a lot in here. You're gonna have 920 calories. You're gonna have about 43 grams of protein. So this is gonna be, it's gonna be right up your alley. Yeah, no, perfect. <laughs> Just what I needed. I will say with all of these, you really need to stir them well. I would not judge them on your first glance when you first open the bag. Stirring is important. On first glance though, this one does have a distinctly different appearance than the Backpacker's Pantry chicken pesto pasta. It's a little bit creamier looking, less you know, individual pieces of uh, basil and things like that. So I'm excited to see how this tastes. It was a very hard piece of pasta. Yep, I had a lot of crunchy pieces of pots, pasta. Taste isn't too bad though. The taste is pretty good. Again, not super strong pesto, but I think the other one might have been more flavorful than this one. Yeah, this one, I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It's just, there's not a ton going on. I'd say this one's closer to like buttered noodles. Yeah. With like chicken and like a piece of basil. I'm gonna give it a five though. I'm gonna give it a six for that extra bump of protein. Definitely refuels you. Enough for a third bite. Uh-huh. All right, so finally, we've got the good to go bibimbap. 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 Bibimbap, which I've never tried before, uh, ever. So I'm looking forward to this one. This is gonna be another one of your vegan and gluten-free options. And this one comes in at only 17 grams of protein per bag, which is quite a bit less than all the others. Um, but it does have 730 calories, so a little bit more carbs, less protein. So kind of depends on what's more important to you, but a really great option for anyone with dietary restrictions. Okay, at first glance, this one looks fun. Oh, we did not take the spice pack. <laughs> this is a really good reminder to take these out. This is not a seasoning packet. It very clearly states, don't eat. It's all right. <laughs> I mean, what threw me off was that it doesn't taste like it smells. I wouldn't describe it as smelling appetizing. I think it tastes like it smells. This wouldn't be my first choice. No. Uh, a good thing to keep in mind too with the spice meter, if you're out there backpacking, maybe not your best friend. That is a very good call. 
flavor-wise, it's almost there. It's like almost what I want it to be, but it's not quite there. This one gets a three from me. I'm gonna be a little bit more generous. I'm gonna give this one a four. It's like so close to being something. You're still eating it though, so. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? In a pinch, vegan or not vegan, if you are starving out there in the backpacking realm, this is gonna be delicious. Okay, so here's our lineup of our most favorite to our least favorite here. I was pretty surprised that the beef stroganoff was my favorite. I did not think that I was gonna be very into that meal, but I think just the flavor of this one was exactly what I want, especially if like it's cold and you're like cozying up at the campsite. This, this definitely wins for definitely me. Definitely homey, yeah. yeah. It's also, it was definitely interesting to see, you know, we have two different types of pesto pasta with chicken. Both of them used very different amounts of water. So, I mean, there's a lot to pay attention to depending on the type of trip you might be going on, how much water you'll have access to, and the flavors that came out of you know, the different ingredients and stuff. So you've got options to think about. And then vegan or not, this one was still delicious. And it's really great that there are so many different like dietary restriction options for anyone who's going out and backpacking. For sure, yeah. You're gonna be able to find something that's quick and easy and meets the criteria of what you need to put in your body. Yeah. Take what we say with a grain of salt, obviously. Taste is a very subjective thing. Some of these we liked better than others and uh, you might feel differently. So I'd recommend just kind of taking a look at these and you might find one that we didn't like, but you would love. Even for our least favorite, that could still be someone else's favorite. I think it was a really great vegan gluten-free option. It is like almost there on flavor. It's got the spice. So if you like that little bit of risk factor when you're out there backpacking and you want some heat, I think that's gonna be a really good option for you. It's really awesome that there's so many different options for you to choose from, you know? Whatever your taste palette is, it's gonna be something that works for you. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions on meals or anything backpack related, please reach out to a gearhead. And in the meantime, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe let us know what your favorite backpacking meal is. Your favorite could be our least favorite. We wanna know. No matter what, we'll see you out there.